G'day guys, welcome back to Mundra Tony in the Outdoors. Just thought I'd uh, do a little bit of a video about the uh, Adelaide 110 shotgun. I just picked this one up uh, a few days ago. And uh, you know, it's a 12 gauge shotgun, uh, lever action. I'm sure uh, most of you in Australia who watch um, or see this video have, uh, are quite aware of all the controversy with the, uh, the Greens and the other uh, left wing uh, parties in Australia trying to get this um, shotgun banned. But uh, that's for another day. I'll, um, but anyway, for now, I just wanted to say a few words about it. I'm sure there's a few other videos out there about the Adler. But uh, one of the things I do like uh, about the Adler is the price. These are only $700 to buy in uh, black synthetic, like this one. 20 inch barrel, uh, originally a five shot, although I fitted a seven shot magazine tube. I'll get into that in a second. The, uh, the, the only downside to these is when you first get them, they're quite clunky. You know, it takes quite a fair bit to uh, to work the action, um, but after oiling the uh, the bolt and, um, and and the lever and everything else and working it quite a bit, I've put about 50 rounds through this thing now. It's starting to smooth up quite nice. Um, the other thing is to sometimes you'll have a, a weak ejection because they have to be racked quite hard, so you sort of got to slam them home pretty good to eject the shells. But um, perfect for what I uh, want to use it for, which is off the front of my quad bike or off the back of the ute, um, eradicating feral pigs. So um, absolutely great for that and great price. But um, yeah, so anyway, that's um, it's 12 gauge. It's got an ambidextrous um, safety uh, on it. You know, it's, it's a no thrills gun, but uh, you know, it, it uh, will get the job done. But uh, so anyway, to go on to the uh, seven shot, uh, in New South Wales, in, uh, at the moment, um, up until the 1st of November 2017, um, you can own these as a 7 shot. Uh, they come as a 5 shot, but you have to replace the entire magazine tube. You can't just put an extension on. I believe in Queensland, you can just put a magazine extension on. Uh, but in New South Wales, you have to change out the entire magazine tube. Um, at the current point in time, uh, these are a class or a category A firearm. Uh, after the 1st of November, with the changes of the National Firearms Agreement, these will be moved into uh, category B firearm along with your centerfire firearms, other than self-loading in New South Wales at least anyway. So um, with only a five shot magazine capacity. Being that we have the grandfather clause at the moment, being on the original owner, I can convert this to seven shot. When the new laws came in uh, in November, this will still be uh, a class B license or category firearm uh, for me. But if I wish to sell it in the future, um, I have to either sell it as a uh, category D, which is the most restricted uh, category we have in Australia, which is more along the lines of our semi-automatic uh, shotguns and centerfire firearms or what have you with a capacity of up to 30 rounds. So uh, so if I wish to sell this to a uh, Category B license holder, I, uh, I must remove the seven shot, have the paperwork done so that it's uh, now back to a five shot again, and then turn around and uh, then I can sell it as a Category B. So uh, anyway, now that I've um, showed you a little bit about, uh, I'll talk a little bit about what I think of the firearm, I'll show you how easy it is to break down the firearm and, uh, and also how easy it is to change out the magazine. So to start off with, you've just got a uh, magazine nut here. So you, uh, you remove that nut. That comes away quite easy. The lever must be open and uh, uncocked. And it's just as simple as pulling the forearm apart and then you have your two parts of the uh, the firearm, the barrel obviously and the uh, and the rest of the uh, receiver with the magazine tube. Now, to remove the, the factory magazine tube in these, you're going to require a heat gun. Uh, you need to going to put a little bit of heat around the action here to turn to melt the glue on the uh, on the factory tube. I'll just get the factory tube here. I don't know how well you can you're going to be able to see this, but you can see the glue on the factory tube. The factory uh, glue has to be uh, heated and melted so that you can unscrew it. In doing that, you have to uh, take care not to uh, put too much heat into it, otherwise you will end up melting your follower, uh, which is the, the spring follower uh, that, that goes inside the tube that holds your, um, your rounds in your magazine. So you must be pretty careful with that. Although, 
with the uh, new magazine tube that, uh, that I purchased. Um, it has an enclosed end on one end, so you can get away with using the uh, follower from the other end if need be um, to get you out of trouble. Where the factory tube is just a hollow tube, so um, it's got a follower both ends on each end of the spring. One is the retainer and obviously one is the follower. So if you do happen to in Melbourne, you can use the retainer as a follower. So um, just to be sure, I've turned around and already changed this one and played around and filled around with it and, and used um, both just to see if it does work. And, uh, and it does. So um, the only thing is, if you do happen to turn and melt your follower, you will have to turn and go and purchase another one if you ever decide to change it back to five shot. And uh, and you know when you go to sell it or whether you want to change it back to a five shot. So um, quite simple. The other thing I do like about the Adler is the Adler comes with three chokes. Already pre-installed is a modified choke. It also comes with an open choke and a full choke as well with the key to turn and change the chokes. So um, that's another little bonus they, uh, they throw in with them. Um, you know, and you basically just get a simple user's manual, tells you how to use it, a bit of gun safety rules in there, but um, most people should already have that in their head to start with. But um, that's it guys, it's as simple as that. And to put them back together again, it's just a matter of um, taking the two pieces, sliding the um, barrel in, into place, locking it in, once you rack the bolt, that's it. It's locked into place. And then you can turn around and put your uh, magazine nut back on again and do it up. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. So, um, like I said, I put about 50 rounds through this one now and uh, it shoots quite good. I uh, put a target out about 50 yards and with the modified choke with just some uh, some uh, BB loads and some target loads. It was uh, it was throwing not a bad pattern on the uh, on the um, you know say foot by foot uh, target out at about 50 yards. But um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So it'll do the job that I'm, I want to do with it. I'm just going to load it up with SGs and went hunting pigs off the quad. So uh, anyway, guys, there you have it. The Adler A110, and um, you know if you're looking for a nice cheap shotgun that you can you know bang around and not too worried about it because of the you know, for the price and it'll uh, last all right. It, uh, then, then, you know, go out and grab one there. Uh, they're not a bad thing. All right, guys. Anyway, happy and safe hunting and uh, take care.